What's up Shady Crew, back at it again, and yo, it is round two. We finally got the response from Up Church, um, and the name of this track is Joe Meteorite. Again, these names, Joe Dirt, Joe Meteorite, <sighs> whatever. Um, but it's, it's gonna be dope to see the direction. Now, as I stated the last time, he didn't necessarily have to respawn to the track, but I'm glad that he did because we needed it for the culture, man. I've, aside from the initial track from Screwface, I've thoroughly enjoyed the back and forth banter be between the two. Screwface's last track was definitely better, definitely had bars, definitely had wittiness. So it's going to be great to see the response and the direction that Upchurch goes uh, in regards to his response to that diss track. So, low key hype, man. So we're going to get into this. Um, hopefully it's fire, man, but of course we won't know until the end of the video. Now, if this is your first time tuning into this channel, I don't know what you were waiting on. You should have been here. But, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I do my reaction. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, we got the sirens. Oh, we doing hype music. Alright. That's right, Dirt. Nobody wants you in this town. Nobody wants you around, period. Let's go. Oh. Look at him, fellas. <laughs> we will go back down to McDonald's and get you a hamburger and some french fries. French fries? What? You little sissy boy. Goddamn, James Charles, what you want a round two for? Thought he had a plan to give that L back through hey. a loophole. Look up on a video of a trick saying, hey, but thanks. Yeah, you should have listened because you're standing in Let's my go. fucking line. Move. out of the sky well i'm sure it did but it ain't no meteor it's a big old frozen chunk of shit what oh yeah no that that, that can't be that's not what it is 
No, I'm afraid so. Fatality. All right, we're going to stop it right there, man. Let's get into this. Up Church, Joe Meteorite. Um, yo, this diss track response was definitely dope, bro. Like, this was, this was, this was comic gold, man. Like, yo, I'm just going to, like, that, I heard you fuck with anime, so Kamehameha. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yo, this track was definitely heat, man. Um, that's definitely how you respond to the, the track from the beat to the flow style and um, him just doing it his own way. So throughout the progression of this, um, basically the current stigma from Screw's side was that, well, Up Church doesn't rhyme. Um, a lot of the uh, metaphors don't really fall, but I love the fact that both of them did something new, right? So what you didn't see in the first track between either one of them was a rapid flow style. Screw did a rapid flow style and now we've seen Killshot Church do a rapid flow style. I told you guys we get the best out of artists when it comes to rap battles. So salute to these guys, man, for just giving us dope music. But definitely this was, man, this was fire. This was fire. Um, one of the things when you're going into rap battles, and we've seen this um, with the rap battle between Jordan Lucas and Tory Lanez, picking the music actually does help in the rap battle. Like it does help the fl like with your flow style and what what craziness you may throw out, what you pick in regards to the bars and the context and the content behind the bars but the music matters. So with him going with this hype music, like I'm about to move you out of the way. Shoot, look, 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 look. Salute to Luda. Did he coin Luda? Move, bitch, get out the way. Damn. What? Yo, uh, all I'm gonna say is, man, um, between the two, again, we have, like, bro, I love what Shrew did, but this track was fire. Like, this was heat. I, I mean, if you can't see this, then you're just an avid fan of the other person. But he, that's two. That That's two. It was easier for him to do it on the first go around because the context and the content from the original song was racially uh, biased. But then you come back and you gave us a dope track. Like, no knock to screw. He gave us a dope track. He gave us bars. He gave us metaphors. He, he, he did his thing. But this track, though. This track. This was Kill Shot Church. This is what, um, you know, they were warning you about. It, the, he, this man is on another level in regards to the way that he selects songs and the way that he puts this down. Now I know you see um, Up Church and you hear the songs before and it's like, okay, I don't really see the competition. Well, if you notice, um, the he every time you try to take it to a level, he comes up to another level. Like some people are just talented enough that they can match and exceed your level. And bruh, like this track, Joe Meteorite was definitely hype. This was definitely Killshot Church just getting back to uh, the playful banter that he he does, um, throwing his wisecracks back at him and just sunning him. I think there was another reactor, and I can't remember who he was, that said that um, he sunned uh, Screw. And this is, this, like, bro, what? where do you go from here? You know what I mean? Like, these are two tracks, and if we put this in front of anyone, obviously, you're, you're, you, it, it's, it's, not even, it's not even comparable. Like, this track was harder than the track that you dropped. Not to say that the track that you dropped wasn't nice, but yo, this, this just knocked, a, this knocked harder, bro. Like, say what you wanna say. Everybody's gonna have their opinion because, you know, fans, feel differently because they're 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 sworn to the loyalty of their artists and I get it I get it but 
if you take that away and you look at the songs, if this was not your favorite artist and this was someone else and you were looking at it from a bird's eye view, Up Church won again, bruh. He won again. That one line, that one line was like, damn. I, at least that's the way I see it, man. This was definitely a dope rap battle between the two. I think that at this point or at this juncture, it's probably gonna end here. So this will probably be the last track that we'll see between the two, unless they decide to do a collab together and we have some type of screwed up up church track. I don't know, we'll see. But um, it was definitely a dope rap battle, but we do have to say that up church did take this home like he didn't really have to respond to that track because the track that screw put out was more so damage control to let people know yo like i'm not i can rap like i know that i took the took a, a route that most people didn't like but i i got bars but then you have up church drop this track and it was heat man this was so dope um and just his direction. And then I love the fact that he's playing off of, uh, so Joe Dirt was what Screwface called um, Up Church. And so he plays off Joe Meteorite and he plays the clip of Joe Dirt having the conversation about uh, a meteorite. And the guy says, I don't think that's a meteorite. That's just a pile of shit. Like, get, come, oh my gosh, bruh. You gotta see, like... <sighs> it is what it is, bruh. Like, this was definitely dope, man. I enjoyed this to the fullest. Um, salute to both participants, Screwface and Up Church, um, for giving us great music, giving us great content, and this is the best way to sign off and end this by the most hype track, this track that we've seen thus far. This was hype, bruh. This was hype. That's the way I see it, man. Uh, so definitely salute to Up Church, man. Um, and we'll see where it goes from here, man. We'll see what the artists do from here. Um, hopefully there's no bad blood between the two of them. Um, and hopefully they get a chance to actually have conversation offline uh, because both are dope MCs, man. And um, it would be better for the culture uh, for them to be able to collab and maybe do something uh, together. But only time will tell uh, what happens from this juncture. Um, and we'll see. But definitely up church for me. You guys will have to let me know what you thought about the track now that both are out. So all four tracks are out. Nobody can run and hide and, and snip anything. You guys have to let me know. Who did you think took this one? Was it Up Church or was it True Face John? You know my vote. But anyways, guys, we're gonna keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there. Oh, 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 oh,